Hope you're enjoying this tour with us. It's just extraordinary. We have enjoyed this since our birth. Basically, when we grew up, puja time in Kolkata was the best time of the year, and we had to wait 12 months before we could enjoy again next year. And these days, obviously, we don't come regularly during this time, but this time it feels special. Not just because we're enjoying as we used to before, but because we're sharing with you guys on our channel. So we have a different perspective, different purpose of these recordings. Hope you enjoy this. So this is Tollywood in Kolkata. This is the film studio and the film industry based here. So it's equivalent of Bollywood. It's in Kolkata. It's, we, we call it Tollywood because it's in Tollyganj area. And the statue on my right hand side is of our great actor Uttam Kumar. Look at the decorations, there are some decorated gates. This Shadhu, this gentleman is meditating. This is part of the decoration of the Durga Pandal. There's a beautiful sculpture at the entrance. And extraordinary oil paintings. Look at this decoration. This is so different. It's decorated with sculptures and oil paintings. theme is on the Indian shadhus. They're doing different acrobatics, yoga and meditating. So this is a completely different kind of decorations for a Durga Pratima and Durga Mondo. Look at this structure, this sculpture. It's gigantic sculpture of a shadu and now we are entering the main center where Durga is sitting the theme of this puja is Benaras you know Varanasi there is a city in North India on the bank of river Ganga and that's very religious city this Puja Mondop's theme is based on Varanasi. Look at the Durga Pratima. This Durga Pratima is almost decorated with modern sharis and her children are also wearing some modern sharis. decoration is so different from the previous pujas that we have seen so far. From Portuan Poli, we came to Ojeo Shanghoti Puja in Behala and look at, look at my background. This is a very narrow street and it has got like and five pujas on the street, continuously bike and vans and lorries and all other vehicles possible. They're passing by, bicycles, and you have to cross this. It's only like eight feet, maybe 10 feet road. And it was just too difficult. We needed five minutes to cross this road. So let's go into this Ojo Shanghoti Puja Mondo. It looks like very artistic. I think they have used some clay potteries to decorate whole bandle, the mondo. So as I was saying in my previous videos and in this video that 
this Durga Mondups are the most exciting, most attractive subject matter for Durga Puja because all the artists uh, they come with their ideas and plan for this, what material they're going to use, how they're going to design it and it takes 12 months. So as soon as this year's puja will be finished, all these clubs and artists will come together, start planning for next year because it's such a long time it takes to design all these extraordinary artworks. It never happens overnight, although we enjoy it for seven days max. These art installations are fascinating. That's why Durga Puja has been marked as UNESCO World Heritage in 2021. It's not about religion. Obviously religion is part of it, but it's the celebration of all the people involved. Look at this centerpiece structure. All made with bamboo. It's like a sanctuary of birds. Look at this gate. There are a lot of bird sounds. So this ambient music is also part of the art installation. Just extraordinary. Look at these birds. I think there is a theme of bird in a cage and we should free all the birds, something like that. And look at the Durga Pratima. She's also been designed as a bard. So basically it's a freedom for bards, conservation of bards, and their requirement for our biodiversity of this world. So you see, the theme is so different from each other. All the panels that we are visiting, they are so unique. It's a new sporting club puja will be our next stop hopefully it will be again gorgeous one but the roads are so narrow we have to be very careful when you're walking i'm not sure about the theme but we'll find out it's a different theme completely look at this structure and durga pratima it's so different it's beautiful We're going to the next Puja Mondo and you see there is a biryani shop. We're now at the Vivekananda Sporting Club and this will be our fourth uh, spot in this Behala region. Hope it will be fantastic as well. Again, they have decorated with quite a lot of clay pots. Him is about the, the pottery, the clay potteries and the people who worked in that industry. So these instruments probably they dig ground to collect soil and mud before they make those potteries. Look at the Durga idol, it's so different. Probably representing traditional women in Bangla or in Bengal. Look at this Durga idol. I think she is representing the common women, common people of this state, West Bengal. And her children are also decorated in that fashion to represent common people and the mother. So we have seen four different pujas in this area. It's Behala and Horidepur region. It's west part of Calcutta. 
and look at this road this is this is supposed to be a 300 years old very important road but it is narrow in today's standard and so many cars bikes autos it's difficult to navigate through these roads but I mean we went to see all those artworks and we're really amazed with those creations and this is just part of that story from Behala, we are now approaching to another uh, Puja Mondo. It's called Shiv Mandir Puja Mondo. This is the entrance to the Shiv Mandir Puja Mondo, and the gates are very well decorated as usual. And so it should be inside. So we'll just walk through these gates. But before that, we are trying some green coconuts. It's very hot now. It's midday, like 12:30. It's really hot and humid. So we thought we'll have some green coconuts. Is it sweet? Very, very sweet. Okay. I know you might be thinking that why we are not doing these videos at the night time because then it will all will all lights will be there. It will be glamorous. But obviously, as you have seen, these roads are so narrow, and in the evening, it will be like millions of people walking through these streets. It will be just impossible to walk for me. I have lost all my habits pushing and pulling. So we decided to look around these mondops during daytime when it will be less crowded. These are hand-painted lanterns. They are just extraordinary, very colorful. This is a traditional painting called Porchitro. They're very colorful, very traditional thing for decorating your interior of your house. And these all items are hand-painted. It's just too beautiful. So we decided to buy two trays and you see the paintings, this one is all the fishes, we call it Machir Bie. So the marriage of the fishes and these are traditional dancers of West Bengal. So these are going to be very colorful trays that we're going to use at, at home, maybe carrying some cakes and coffees and something like that. So you see we bought these two trays from a shop near the Puja Mondo. These are all street hawkers. It's inevitable that all these millions of people are coming to visit these Puja Mondops. So this is the best place to do some business and it's only last for seven days. So millions of people, small business and traders, they put their shop, temporary shops near the Puja Mondops and they sell their items, the crafts, handicrafts type of things or food items. And so this is the time of the year. They make their living for the rest of the year. And so we bought some trays. They're just beautiful. But most importantly, Durga Puja is not just about religion, art, or the culture, but this is also a survival story as well. So during this puja, a lot of people make their living by selling items near the puja mandaps. So it's a whole industry that gets supported by doing these glamorous Durga Pujas in Kolkata. This is a very traditional Bapri church shop. They sell different kinds of bhelpuris. So they make with these rice pops and these crackers and different kind of aloo bhajia and this yogurt and tamarind chutneys and red onion and chilies to make these bhelpuris. The small chairs made with jute fiber and wood. These are all handicrafts that's getting sold near the puja mandaps. This is a small tea table and it decorated like an owl. We're trying to buy a t-shirt from one of these handicraft shops. So we're approaching the Puja Mandava of Shib Mandir. This decoration is also very much with the clay potteries, different kind of clay potteries. And this is the main gate to the Puja Mandap where the Durga Pratima is inside. Thank you. 